Okay, Bob, care to share a little bit more with our audience about who you are? Well, Jerry, I'm a professional salesman. I sell stuff. And one of the products I sell is the Invisio Pro 2 and sometimes the Invisio Pro XL. But the customers ask me, how do you create those report types? Now, I'm not a technical type of guy. I, I don't know what to tell them. Okay, Bob, now I know we did bring you here to discuss the 10 essential selling principles that most salesmen get wrong, but we just happen to have an Invisio Pro 2 here in the studio. Want me to show you how to create those reports? That'd be great, Jerry. Awesome. What you do need is you need to get to the home screen and then click on the tools button. Whoa. This is like being at the movies. We spare no expense here, Bob, but let's get back to that movie. Now you will see in about the middle there that dark blue file maintenance button. You just need to press that and then on the file maintenance screen, you will see several file types listed. Care to guess which one you need to highlight? I'm gonna guess job files, Jerry? Great, perfect. And then what you need to do then is just press that dark blue button with the arrow pointing away from the Invisio Pro. Now I've been here before, Jerry, but this is where I get confused. All those buttons at the bottom there. Yeah, it can seem confusing at first, but actually all the buttons are kind of grouped together depending on which type of report type you want to create. Now the Invisio Pro 2 and the Invisio Pro XL does create a bitmap report, a shapefile report, and a JDP report. Now you, the JDP report is that web-based one, so you will have to go to ravenslingshot.com and request a free Slingshot account in order to view it. Okay, Jerry, that makes sense, but what do the buttons with the arrows on them do? Well, those buttons create that bitmap and shapefile reports. Now, you are going to need a USB drive anytime you're going to create a report. <laughs> Jerry, I always carry a USB drive with me. Perfect. Now, just press the three arrow button when you want to create re the bitmap and shapefile report for all the jobs, or press the single arrow one when you just want to do one at a time. Now the buttons off to the next of that, that have the frogs on them, creates that JDP report. I'm gonna guess here a little bit, Jerry. I'm guessing the button with the two frogs on it does all the jobs, and the one with the one frog does one at a time. Whoa, Bob, now I'm impressed. Now the button next to that is not gonna be used right now because that's for people that have that slingshot field hub. But the buttons next to that with the X's on them, those we use to delete jobs out of internal memory after we looked at those application reports. But see, Bob, creating these job reports can be simple. Even you can do it now. Okay, Bob, so let's get back to those 10 essential selling points. You're probably wondering when the Invisio Pro 2 and the Invisio Pro XL stores all those report types. If you have a moment, I can show you. You will, need your, oh, you will need your USB drive that you stored all your report types on. So go ahead and put your USB drive into your laptop and look for that EPRO folder. Now if you double click on that EPRO folder, you will see a folder there called Work Orders. Double click on that one and you should see a Jobs folder. If you double click on that one, you will see folders for all the different jobs that you've saved. Go ahead and just double click on one of those and if you did create all those report types, you should see four folders underneath that one. Now, I only recommend that you create the reports that you're going to use, but you know, every once in a while, I like to live on the wild side. Now, if you look in the coverage folder, you will find all the files you need. Those are your backups for any jobs that you have. In the reports folder, you will find that bitmap report. And then in the shapefiles folder, you will also find all the files that you need to create this shapefile, including that PRJ file. And then under the Slingshot folder, you will find that JDP report. Now you will have to go to ravenslingshot.com and request that free Slingshot Viewer account, but it's not that big of a deal. Let me tell you, it is simple to create those reports on the Invisio Pro 2 and the Invisio Pro XL, and it's just as simple to go ahead and view those reports. I suppose I better get back to work and you better get back to enjoying the rest of your day. <laughs>